So we are doing four themed products in a row, like same colors, same scent, different products, obviously, but it's weird because my format is never, you know, that dialed in. But, you know, before I talk about what it is that we're doing today, hello, I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And today, you are here for day 126, and we are not making the soapy things. We are making the bath bomby things. Yeah, we're actually continuing a themed product that we've been working on this week. It was originally a wholesale order placed by a Sudzer to get a mess o awesome in the exact same scent blend. And so that's cool. The scent blend that we're doing, it's actually a dupe from Bath & Body Works. It's uh, Magic in the Air. And it is in fact magical. It is such a delightful blend to work with, to smell, to be a part of. And I decided that I loved it so much that I did want to go ahead and create a whole bunch of products for you to enjoy as well. So today, again, we're working on the bath bomb and this bath bomb is great. It has the Epsom salts in it. It has this delicious, delightful blend. It blooms beautifully in the tub, but we're gonna talk more about that in the video. So let's go watch. Okay, so the third video in the magic, the custom magic in the air dupe special request uh, order that we've made enough of to make a cool gift set and everything for the Sudzers online in the shop is the bath bomb and the magic bomb is very magical. Now in each of these containers we have we're working with essentially a triple batch so three full-size batches you know at once and so what we have in the containers now we have baking soda and cornstarch and Epsom salts and we put in one tablespoon of oil, one and a half tablespoons of water, and then one tablespoon each into each thing of the scent blend. And George May is finding that it is not fun to uh, use the little squeezy thing at the top of the, the scent blend. So she took it off. Smart, love it. And we're also going to, in these colors, so they're going to be matching the uh, soap that we made as well as they possibly can so we will be working with a three different colors with this the purple the orange and the yellow and with this uh, with, with any bath bomb recipe right like you, you have to pay attention to what you are doing with your dry ingredients and your, your quantities but basically the bath bomb you know formulation is essentially two parts baking soda, one part citric acid, and that's going to give you the fizzy lift off, right? And the baking soda is awesome because it's skin softening and, you know, it, it helps out with, you know, cuts and bites and itchiness and all that jazz. And so that's good. Citric acid, also skin softening, but obviously the biggest part of that is going to be when baking soda and citric acid are combined and, and they hit water, it creates, it creates a fizzy reaction. So that's cool. So two parts baking soda, one part citric acid, and up to one part everything else, right? And the everything else includes cornstarch, Epsom salts, butters, the dry colorants that you're putting in, you know, all that jazz. And so we are putting in dry colored, we dried colored colorants. We use uh, micas for our bath bomb colorants that are cut with a little bit of cornstarch to make it easier to actually mix into the batch. 
And so she's got the purple going on there and then she will move on to the orange. And our containers are empty. I should, we should fill those. I say I should, I, I should have Georgia May fill those. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then so the, the third container will be the yellow. And you see the little teeny tiny clumps of white that still exist in the, the purple batch there on the far left. Those little teeny tiny clumps are fine. That's just like, you know, overly dry baking soda that is clumped and all of that. And once you get everything else going in that, um, once you get the actual citric acid and you start molding it, those, those clumps don't exist anymore. They don't really show up. And... So that's completely fine. Oh, and we are out of yellow. We need to get some more yellow colorant too. I need to have Georgia May make a list of all the things we need because that seems to be where, yeah, we need to fill the colorants. That's, huh. it's always something, right? You're always running out of something. It, it never, it never ends. No matter how well you stocked you are, especially since we make so many different types of products, right? And so, my absolute least favorite thing in the whole entire world is uh, sugar scrubs because I mean it's my most favorite thing to, to use but we have these whipped sugar scrubs that it seems like sugar scrubs and lip balms we are always always out of containers or sugar like there's always something we can't so we can't make the thing and I have to order and yeah it's all a thing but now that the colors and everything have been put in and they are the way that she wants them now you get one cup each of citric acid into each of the containers there. So one cup into each container. You're gonna mix that up really well. And this is when the ba the bath bombs are gonna start feeling like kinetic sand, right? And that's important. It changes the, the, uh, the temperature of the bath bomb mixture. It changes underneath your hands, which is crazy cool. And it will again start feeling like kinetic sand. But this is also when your timer sort of kicks on. With, with a batch of bath bombs because if you've made slime before like right it's a it this is the activator right the uh, the citric acid so what this is doing is the citric acid is now looking for every little bit of moisture in the in the batch to sort of bind to and as it's doing that it's taking the moisture that's needed to keep the consistency of the bath bomb uh, mixture in such a way that you can you know mold them and so as a result, the mixture gets very, very dry and starts feeling like instead of kinetic sand, like just straight sand. And so what that realistically means is that you have only about 30 minutes to get all of your bath bombs made. And when we teach these classes at the shop, I tell people that and they're, they get kind of panicked. And I'm like, no, 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 30 minutes is plenty of time because they make like a, a five bath bomb batch at the shop, right? I'm like, that's plenty of time to make five bombs. But we had the exact same amount of time to make, you know, essentially 15. Well, this is more like 17, 18 with this because again, the Epsom salts in there uh, adds more volume to it. So we get a couple more bath bombs out of these batches. And so that's, you know, more bombs in the same amount of time. So you really have to hustle. And luckily for us, we, you know, we do hustle and it's good. Everything, we work fast. And I don't know if I've talked about this before, but we have a, we, sometimes we have competitions at the shop, like especially during the holiday season, we have just tens of thousands of bath bombs to make in, you know, like a very small period of time. And we will have competitions and see, you know who can finish their batch of bombs first or how many you know batches of bombs each person can make in a day or in a shift or whatever and it's fun and it keeps us sort of motivated because there are days when we are doing nothing but this all day long and yeah it's a lot but anyway point with all of it is uh the longer you let this bath bomb powder sit, the drier it becomes. And so, because it, as soon as you put that citric acid in, that's when it starts. That's why I say, always, always put your citric acid in last, because you want to give yourself as much time as possible before it starts, you know, drying itself out, essentially. So, you know, do, do that thing, and that's that's good. And at this point, I don't really even know how many bath bombs she has done. But it looks like based on the amount of the, you know, mixture that's still in the containers, she's about halfway done. And so that's awesome. 
and yeah, the, uh, the the speed with which she is working, very it, obviously I sped it up because it's you know it's it's the same thing over and over again and it gets to be monotonous, but it's she's still working very quickly. So you know we were considering getting a Beth Bomb press, and we actually did tests, uh, you know, just us hand pressing them versus a Beth Bomb press, and we worked with different types of Beth Bomb presses. And um, we're still faster by hand than you can get in a in a press, and so we really can't justify the spend to get the the press when we move this quickly. And so you know it it is what it is. And yeah, these uh as far as the design and everything goes, this is kind of just an all over design meant to mimic the kind of hanger swirly thing I did at the top of the magic soap. So they complement each other in, you know, scents and design and color and all that jazz, which is fun. I, I, I love theme products. That's one of my most favorite things ever. And so, yes, this is the third of four actual um, items that were themed with this particular scent blend. So tomorrow will be the solid lotion bars in the same scent blend and, you know, color family and all that jazz. And so together it creates a really cool, you know, sort of spa experience. So you have your your soap to get clean, you have your bath bomb to get relaxed, you have your solid lotion that you can use you know, in the bath or just after, and then you have your, your liquid lotion too for you to keep that, that sort of beautiful magic scent with you all day long. And yeah, so that's awesome. So for that reason, we're totally, we did the whole thing all, all week long with these awesome products. And this guy right here is just, amazing this I really love it when we put um, Epsom salts into bath bombs and for me personally I use the Epsom salt bath bombs probably oh I would say three times more often than the rest of the bath bombs just because I'm a runner and I'm always you know sore from various things but I'm a very active person and so the Epsom salts have a really good kick in all of that and they help out with, uh, you know, muscles and aches and pains and as well as water retention, they help eliminate that. And so I love any bath bomb that has Epsom salts in them, really. I don't put them in everything though because not everybody's into Epsom salts. So I think I only have, oh, I would say maybe six to eight in the line that have Epsom salts all the time. So, you know, there's that. But yeah, she is almost done with the uh, bath bomb making. And as you can see, the powder in the containers, it's looking a little clumpy. It's getting pretty dry. It's no longer feeling like kinetic sand. It's feeling more like sand sand. And this is when the bath bombs get harder to mold. And also, this is when they get more annoying to mold because you have very little powder left in your buckets. And it's now the time to just start sort of dumping them into the molds, really, because it, it gets to be a lot and I I would have already started the, the dumping but she's good she's good at doing the you know continuing on with the the thing and not making a giant mess that she has to clean up afterwards because you end up always having to clean up a giant mess afterwards if you do you know the the dumping on the counter in order to whatever but anyway that is a uh, Georgia May's um, magic bomb here and they're all pretty. I love these sort of random blends of colors and the swirls and the stuff that you can do. I mean, it's fun to do more specific, like certain themed, like specifically patterned bombs or whatever, but this is equally awesome to do just a random one and they all end up looking a little bit different and that's totally fun. Now let's go uh, test these babies and see how they look when they fizz out. It's fizzy liftoff time, and you know, apologies on this. I don't actually know how to like film a bath bomb fizzing out. You would think that I would have figured this out by now. I mean, I've been making bath bombs for so many freaking years that at some point I would have cared enough to make a good video, but I, I didn't. So here's the, the, the fizzing of the bomb, and it's delightful, and look at all the different angles. Isn't it cute? 
And I love the bloom of this bomb because it's a very adult bloom. It's not like overly colored and you know, whatever. And it has the beautiful foam coming from it and the scent is just delightful. This is definitely a slam dunk winner for me. This is one that I will be using a lot. So this is, a, again, the, I think Bath and Body Works do, Magic in the Air. And this is the Magic Bomb. Ooh, look, a zoom. It's a close-up. Is that better? Is that a better way to film a, a bath bomb? It makes it look like it's more like violently fizzing when it's that close. So that's fun. Maybe for the next one I'll super speed it up and like fake the entire thing. But yeah. No, again, Magic Bomb. That's, that's the thing. And look, there's some water. It's pretty. And the bombs are equally stunning and awesome. Isn't it all just the just? It is so good. I love this bath bomb so much. It's such a delightful, beautiful, like sensual blend as far as the uh, the scent is concerned. And the bloom in the tub is absolutely beautiful. Really long lasting bomb too. The Epsom salts tend to kind of extend the, uh, the fizz as well as the cornstarch. So those are definitely things that we keep in the, the bath bombs and we like to throw in the Epsom salts for extra fun whenever we can. And this one, we wanted some extra fun, a little bit more magic. So yeah, that, uh, that does it for the Magic Bath Bomb. It's not available for purchase yet. We are actually boxing all of the four products up into an awesome gift set at the end of this four day experiment. And you can get all of them at a killer discount when we're done. So unfortunately not ready at soapandclay.com yet. It will be in a couple days. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in following me on social media in the meantime, I'm there, do things, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you are interested in more soapy fun and bath balmy fun and fun, you should subscribe to the channel. Just click the little, the little word. And it definitely helps me with, you know, growing the channel and doing all the things. And then you get notified when I drop a new video. So that's cool too. But that really does it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me for another round of 365 days of soap. I super appreciate it. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow.